Howdy, this is the end product of part three's video. And it started with a piece of aluminium tubing, which I cut in half, and this formed the mould for the carbon rails. After allowing the wax to dry, I bundled up four or five strands of carbon fibre and just laid them into the mould. I wanted to give myself adequate room here so I made sure that I had a channel because I need to add to these structures to ultimately complete the frame. Into the hot water cupboard they go for curing. In order to make the H frame I needed some kind of balsa wood exoskeleton. This is the only way that I could think of to complete the process. And this was really tricky because I needed some way to hold the bearings in place in order for me to wrap carbon fibre around them. I ended up holding them in place with blocks of balsa wood and one of the blocks was glued to the frame and then the other one was left free and I could undercut the balsa wood from underneath the bearing and leave it exposed free for me to wrap carbon fibre around it and this will give me a nice bearing housing. I found that the process of laying carbon fiber into this frame was really tricky as the as the f strands wanted to keep coming out of place but I just took my time managed to get them in there got some nice ties into the mix and managed to wrap adequate amount of carbon fiber in there to ultimately give me a stable frame and here I just cut away the balsa wood when the whole thing was cured and it gave me a nice solid H frame on which to build on after carefully extracting the aluminium half rounds I was really pleased with the way it turned out I got really smooth rails. The frame looks pretty rudimentary at this stage, but I laid in more carbon fibre and sanded and wrapped more carbon fibre and sanded and got it to a, a pretty nice stage. And now it's time to prepare these nuts as these form the basis of the adjustment mechanism which allow a platform to slide along the rails. managed to get a nice channel ground into these nuts right around the diameter now I could get some strands wrapped around them and then continue wrapping them around the rails Wrapping the strands around the waxed rails ensures that I'll get a nice tight fit with no slip or play. Safety first. Also, never run with scissors or turn your back on the sea. I tried to keep the strands to a minimum because I need to separate the platform from the rails. I was pleased that it was sliding freely.
the platform was still in a weak state at this stage so I needed to add some strength here I'm preparing to add a layer of double bias it's very strong I'm saturating the double bias separately from my item just to ensure that I get no excess resin on the project. I also wrapped single strands of carbon around the rails so that I get a neat edge. Now I can finish off with a couple of layers of twill weave and this will give me a nice aesthetically pleasing finish. And this is how it works with the threaded rod temporarily installed. It moves nice and freely along the rails. Next step is to affix this to the gimbal platform with carbon fiber and that's probably not going to be too easy however the stage turned out pretty well and thanks for watching